All right, folks, we're back, and I looked at my little map, and I think I know where the wave beam is. So we're going to go out to that before I lose my mind. Ooh. Oh. Because that's going to be incredibly helpful. Because that's the one that, that hits through, uh, through walls. So not only will walls no longer inhibit us, because you see, forget Ridley. Forget Mother Brain, Crate, or all those other guys. The real enemy in this game is the walls. Alright. Yes, I believe I know where it is. And if memory serves correctly, which I... I don't trust my own memory that well, but you know. <laughs> Guy can hope, right? Does it hurt me? No, it doesn't. You know, that, that comes later. Because we got lava, and then we have the super lava. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, so we just go up here. The seahorse of death. The sunken soul, or whatever the heck they're called. I don't even know the- I don't even know half the enemies of the Metroid. I just know, like... I know the main ones, you know? I was about to say, do I need the wave beam in order to get the wave beam? Because that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to do this the easy way. Oh, come on. What's the point of the charge shot if it doesn't, like, kill in one hit? Alright. Yeah, then we need the grapple beam here. Or, we just do this. And there you have it, folks. <laughs> and there we have it, folks. Wave beam. Rad. Excuse me. Untold riches await us now. I'm pretty sure this is the one that lets you... Yes, it is. All right. Isn't there, like, another area here that I missed? There is. Eh, let's take care of that, too, while we're at it. Since we're here, you know. We, we may not get to Ridley this episode, but hey. We'll get, to, we'll get to make some memories. And in the end, it is not the destination, but the journey. That which matters most. But hot damn, yeah, that destination sure can be nice sometimes, you know? <laughs> so does this increase damage output at all, or, am I, or is this just like... That more the same. Oh, can I space jump? Like, all the way over? Because I think I know this area. Why? <laughs> yes, I can! <laughs> Alright, now what's over here? Oh, goody. More, uh... More missiles. You know, the lava disappearing there for a sec reminds me. So the, um... And... I was about to say, why am I afraid? Why am I afraid of the lava? It, it, the lava no longer hurts me. The lava should be afraid of me now. Alright. Oh dear. I've fallen victim to one of the classic blunders. Huh, I wonder. Is there like a missile I can get through here? Can I get the missile through here? Because that would be really nice. Hey! More missiles! That's never a bad thing. How do I get out of here? Now... Oh, do I just go up the way I came? Okay. Alright. So I think I'm going... 
Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Nope. <laughs> nope. Right as it's climbing with the back of my head. Nope. And actually, I should uh, create a spend point there. Because you see, I'm just getting more and more powerful, and that's one of the that's one of the beauties of Metroid. There we go. Down into the abyss. Alright. Um, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, I hate it when games like they say physical copy, or it's like, you know, you see the case in the stores, and then it says, Oh yeah, it's not the actual physical copy. It's just a download code. I was like, well then what's even the point then? Cause like I said, I, I prefer physical games because like that gives me more of a sense of ownership. Like, I own this. I don't actually, I don't just own, like, like, a license to play the software, you dig? But yeah, it's just like, I like physical games. And, uh, you know, something not being physical is never gonna stop me from buying a game. For example, I recently purchased a hat in time. Holy crap. That's like, an, it's an amazing game. <laughs> So much fun. So cute. Energy charge is great. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not against buying digital games. I'll buy digital games if that's the only format they're available in. But if I can get a physical copy, you bet your, uh, you bet your butcher I'm getting that, I'm getting the physical copy. What's this? Oh, that must be, like, above Krakomire. Oh, and I guess. I wonder where this goes. Like I said, folks, exploration. It's the it's the key to Metroid. I wonder if I can get the plasma beam somewhere around here too. Oh See so this is a much shorter quest for the Shade Cloak than the initial quest for the Shade Cloak, if you guys remember Hollow Knight at all. I've actually been rewatching some of my some of our old videos, and uh, you know what the greatest joke of them all was? Episode two of Hollow of uh, Shantae when I said my mom would be the only one watching my videos. Ah! 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 ah. Oh! If I haven't mentioned recording, she gets into a fluster. Ho ho ho! It hurts, folks. <laughs> Hey, you know what they say, comedy is formed from misery, and you know what, that's, <laughs> if you can't, if your mom doesn't support you on what you're doing, what, what more misery can there be? <laughs> oh, that one, that, that laugh actually hurt my chest a bit, <laughs> which, that's no good. <laughs> that's what Sonic says, anyways. Seriously, those fists are so cartoony. I find them hilarious. These fists are hilarious to me. Gosh, I'm having a blast right now. This is great. I didn't know how much I missed this. You, you got what? Well, so I took a, I took a break for the entirety of October, and okay, so the, okay, we're here, we're here, we're here with Ridley, we're here with Diddley. All right. Come on. Oh, it was so close. Oh, okay. Can I, can I, can I not freeze them? Oh. It hurts some people say you can actually like get, get this, like do this with, ow without the uh, space jump and I'm like I would love to see that cause that sounds badass yeah there we go all right what's over here he asked unassumingly it's a save room let us save
Yeah, create create more suspend points, because frankly, I don't want to lose progress. <laughs> it's like a double save. It's like when you shiny hunt, you know? If after you catch a shiny, if you, uh, you have to save three times. Because as we all know, when it comes to shinies, the first two saves don't work. Or is that just my paranoia talking? Eh, could be either. See, I guys, you see that? The, the orange soda right there? Yeah, that's like super lava. Because you see, if you thought you were safe from lava after getting the gravity suit, well, son, you're a bigger sucker than I went than I am. Ugh. Everything wants to hurt once you dead in Norfair. And that's no good. Speaking of which, who did anyone else see the uh, supposed leak of uh, the new Sonic the Hedgehog design? Which... Oh my gosh, like, guys, you did it. You made Sonic not look like a goblin. <laughs> I didn't think that had to be something I'd be amazed at, but hot damn with that first design. You know, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually, in order to have like a more informed opinion, I rewatched the, the original Sonic trailer. To like, you know, really make sure I'm like, okay, yeah, I know what I'm talking about here. And you know what? In certain scenes, he doesn't look that bad. By no means does he look good. But he doesn't look like the absolute slaughtering of everyone's childhood. Like, in some instances, he's not... The worst. You see that? You like how it played you for a sec? You thought it was Ridley. Because the last time you entered a room and there was a glowy eye, it was Ridley. <laughs> Creating a suspend point here. Because I know I'm going to need it. Because <laughs> I know I know it's, I know what's here. Oh uh, yeah, hell to the no. Oh right, it, it, it fires the missiles back at you. Wait. Oh yes. Come on, come on. Okay. Ooh, oof, ow, ooh, e. Would you like me to go through the rest of the vowels, or are those ones good for you guys? Oh. Gosh! You don't realize how much you rely on the super missiles until you can't use them no more. I wonder. Shoot! Shoot! Okay. So I can only catch one at a time. Okay. Oh, come on. We're so close. We're paint. I can. T ah! I spat. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do one more fight because we're almost out of time. Oh, uh, why did I let it land on me? See, I can only hit, I can only catch one at a time. Okay. Okay. 
When he stands sideways, he kind of reminds me of those, like, the drones in Star Wars. You know, the Roger Roger. You catch me? You feel me, folks? Can you die for me, please? I'd really like it if you died. That would actually be really nice for me right now if you if you just kind of died. That would be great, actually. And if it doesn't work for you now, uh, maybe in a couple minutes, that would be great. Just before before I run out of juice, okay? All right, okay. Please, if, you, if, it's, if it's not too much of an inconvenience for you, I would like you dead. Because, frankly, you are just the worst. Oh. I don't know how close I was. I can tell I was pretty darn close, though. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna be close uh, next time. So, bye!